All right, everybody, let's, uh, let's do a series of videos on groundwork. Now, we've already got this little girl halter trained. We've got uh, something going for us in regards to leading, means we're drawing. But we also want to work on drive, and drive can be a multitude of things. Uh, it could be just backing a horse up, it could be sending a horse forward, it could be all kinds of, uh, you know, moving a horse without us being in the front. So the uh, first idea that I want to do is I want to get her to back up. And sometimes with a horse that's nervous or a little bit jittery or a little bit scared or something like that, while you can get in close and you can kind of push on things and push on a chest, I don't recommend that, but you can use your halter and you could try to pull them backwards and stuff. Sometimes if they're a little bit worried or she isn't, but I will try to demonstrate a way that we will use a little bit of drive to get a horse to make some space. Because a lot of times when we want to be a little bit safer, uh, we want them to be away rather than to be close. So in this first video about some of the groundwork that I'm going to be working with her, uh, uh, we're going to discuss a little bit of drive. And uh, the first drive that I want to be able to have is stay away a little bit. Now, horses get worried if we get big. You see, so we we have a very natural sort of instinctive um, thing that we can do, like an action that we can do that can gain drive. And um, getting big is one of them. Horses do it all the time. I don't want her to be worried, so I'll draw her towards me again. We're going to talk about drive and draw an awful lot. And I'll let her know it's okay to be with me. Um, but if I want her to back, I'll get bigger, wider, taller, uh, uh, to have her make a little bit of space. Now, the other tool that I want to sort of discuss a little bit is your rope. Your lead rope, halter, is your connection to your horse. It's the best connection uh, when you've got them on a halter, rather than some other tool, which uh, we'll also talk about. But we can swing this end a little bit. We can have a little bit of energy that we can apply. Now, sometimes when this energy isn't being, isn't being directed, we can direct it elsewhere. Say we want to chase off another horse. We don't want to chase off the horse that's with us. We can just kind of do this. And our directing hand can be in neutral, I guess you could say. I'm not telling her to go anywhere. There we go. I don't want her afraid of this. And I remember a long time ago, I had somebody was like, that guy's teaching his horse to not be afraid of the rope. And I was like, yeah, I, I am. But also there is going to be a level of respect, no different than I wouldn't want any of my friends to be afraid. If I'm hanging around with my friend and I'm just doing this, I want them afraid of it. But if I start to kind of move around a little bit, then I want my friend to realize that I'm still swinging a rope. Um, and it's probably best if you sort of avoid that because it's sort of a working space. But we're not really trying to use this to uh, instill fear. It's, it's a bit of a driving tool that we hope to get away from. So for example, I want her to back up. Now I could get big, I could kind of do this and she will back up. I can also start with my rope a little bit short and thinking about centrifugal force, I can actually have it leave my hands a little bit on each loop and she will naturally want to avoid that and that is fantastic. We have to try very hard not to hit them. Uh, it will erode the trust that they have given you allowing this halter and lead rope to be attached to them. We don't want to erode that trust. What we do want to do is we want to say, well, I'm here and I need you to make a little space. I'm just going to swing this a bit and it's going to be a little breezy. And if she stops or she goes, we stop. We let down all that energy. Because the idea actually is, is that I want her to back up if I just sort of get a little active. So I might start with active and I might say, well, now I'm gonna start swinging. And if you want, you can hit the ground even. We'll bring her back because we don't want her afraid. So we'll do a draw activity, right? So I say to her, say, can you please back up? I might pat my hands in the air and I might get a little bit bigger. But if that didn't work, then I would get louder. And we'd almost call this a bit of a yell 
So we want to just kind of quietly say, can you sort of take a couple of spaces there? Just a bit, maybe one more, one more. Good. And she might back up. And that's how I would start uh, uh, a horse that has given me all their trust, given me uh, an opportunity to be a friend. I might say, this is how I'm going to start having you leave my space a little bit because I need some, I need a little more safety. Um, and ramping up would be, you know, when we take our rope. Now, the second thing, once we've got that kind of figured out, I think, I feel, the next thing that we need to graduate to is to be able to use the halter because sometimes we are up close and sometimes we do want to have them move. And we might take the halter down at the bottom here. And I want you to think about that our thumb is always going to be sort of our direction giver. So we don't want to have our thumb upwards. That's going to be awkward. Second reason why we don't want our thumb upwards is because sometimes when you go to kind of hold them here, they want to sling their head around, they want to fling it around, they want to kind of avoid you holding them at all. And when you do that, or when they do that, and you do this, you can actually use your whole forearm with your elbow that's connected nicely to your shoulder uh, to sort of block any movement. If you're like this, you're wide open and their head can go up rather easily and, and you get out of control. <laughs> In case you're wondering, all the other horses are still in here. We're just doing a little bit of work with them. So that's what the noise is in the background. Uh, so if I come in here and I say, I'd like you to step backwards, I'm going to have my thumb downwards and I'm going to ask for backwards. You see how her head comes up? She's a little worried. It's, it's confining and uncomfortable. And I just pull back just a little bit. That's it. I might start with that. And then I'd come to the other side and I'd say, how about this side? Straight and then pull back just a little, two pounds. That's it. And I've never taught her this. This is our first time. Back, I might even say back. Back, 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 see her head come up. She leaned back though, I like that. I'm happy with that. I'll try again on this side because we're not getting a step yet. And I can bring my elbow up if I need to. And we just wait, it's just a few pounds. It's not a lot. You should be able to put this amount of pressure with your pinky. Yoka's coming over. Come on back up. Sometimes it's good to train with other horses around because they sort of have to tune them out a little bit and pay attention to you. And we release on that. We'll come back over this way. We'll try again. Not bad. And then the next part that I would work on actually is having her head be down a little bit more as well, but that's not a big rush. The, the important item is to be able to apply just a tiny bit of pressure to get something done and then release that energy. And she might have a little think about that. She might be like, well, that's not so bad. I guess I can, I guess I can avoid a bit of that pressure on the nose, but it's, it's not, try not to force. That's for sure. Try not to force. See, she's coming in and under a little, there. That's one step. See if we can get two. So we'll ask again, wait, release, release. So that's two and you kind of release on each step. And that's how I would start to work with backing up a horse, both <laughs> from a distance. So we might get a little bit bigger and bigger till we get something. And then also if we wanted to come in and just, oh, she's coming up and over my arm. I might bring my elbow up a bit and wait. There we go. So that's it. Hopefully that's been interesting and we'll get on with uh, the second video of this series of a little bit of groundwork with horses.